Welcome back to the trading den. This is going to be the final um, module of putting it together. And this is a bonus because this is a little more advanced. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple examples of how to do this. If you have questions, please ask me in the discord because this is a little more advanced so please ask me in the discord so what and you have to know the draw on liquidity just like everything else but this entry model is something that you have to you you absolutely have to understand the draw so this is where parabolic moves occur and you notice I have these boxes on and that is because this is one of the ways to identify it. So what we want to do is look at Asia and London. So what we want to do with Asia and London is pull out our fib, and mark out equilibrium. Okay, so if you don't have equilibrium of a fib setting, please go to your settings and put this on. And what you want to do is mark out the high with the fib tool of Asia and then the low of London. So if this was in the opposite direction, you would want what? If London made the high and Asia had the low, you would mark out the low of Asia and the high of London. But what we want to be looking for is equilibrium. Okay. And what we want to be looking for at equilibrium is a PD array. So obviously fair value gap because that's what I use. We mark out that fair value gap at equilibrium right this can be done on the lower time frames because this is where parabolic moves occur so what we want to be looking for is a fair value gap in equilibrium of London and Asia so London and Asia equilibrium lies right here we have this bullish fair value gap this is where parabolic moves occur when we make a move down into that PD array that aligns with equilibrium of the two ranges, okay, this is when parabolic moves occur. And as you see, parabolic move. We run from equilibrium at 64. We run almost 200 points. This is more advanced. This can be your confirmation entry at this fair value gap when we have this displacement because this is an entry model in itself. Asia high, London low, look at equilibrium and a PD array and one that continuously holds. So as you see, we tap it. We actually tap it one, two, and three, four, five times. This is where parabolic moves occur at equilibrium of the intraday range of London and Asia. So this New York session, when we come down and tap it, parabolic move afterwards this can be your confirmation entry let's go over another example so now we're on the 15 minute chart and right here in this piece of price action you notice london actually creates the high and the low so now what you want to do is mark out the high and the low of london notice we have this bearish fair value gap which lies right above equilibrium so we can mark that out Notice we come into it, we continuously hold it, and we never close a body above equilibrium. What do you notice after? Parabolic move after. So 98. Let's play the. I don't know how far down we go. Okay, so right there, 98, 150 points from this equilibrium fair value gap. Parabolic move right there. So let's find one more example that's cleaner. So last example, we see that L or Asia makes the low, London makes the high, so we mark out equilibrium of these two ranges. Notice where equilibrium lies, right here. What do we see right here? Fair value gap lying at equilibrium of these two ranges. Come down, tap into it, and immediately run to buy side. So we have an immediate run to buy side. What is that? 948. That is a 40 point run within 10 minutes. So exact, exactly at market open. Pair orders underneath a low. 
Fair Valley Gap with Equilibrium, a parabolic move straight to the buy side objective. This is a little more advanced, so if you have any questions, please ask me in the Discord.